Hey, I wanted to talk to you guys about the Mystery Ranch packs, and uh, I'll be showing you the Marshall today. And uh, so just kind of my, my takes on them, my experiences. So I did use a Mystery Ranch Marshall last year on our elk hunt and really liked it. I had the 19 version, which is the guide light frame. So they are about 7.2 pounds, so a little bit heavy. But what you're getting with this bag is a lot of features can carry as much as you can carry and really good durability. So I'm going to talk about that, that pack experience versus this is the, the MT frame and just some other mystery ranch uh, things to consider. So the Marshall is their biggest pack. It's an expedition pack. If you're looking for five day plus, this is a great pack. If you hunt late season heat insulation, carry a lot of gear, good pack. If you always carry a spotter, good pack. It's got the front pouches on it. And so what I liked about it for elk hunting was I was carrying a, a minus 20 bag at the time, which was pretty heavy. That was the only one I had. And this, this sleeping bag compartment on the bottom is really nice. You've got this designated zipper, as you can see, so I could just really just take it in and out and leave everything in the bag itself. Even though this is a top load, um, you can grab your sleeping bag really easily. A lot of bags have horseshoe zip. I'm not sure how I feel about all that. Um, I, I, I'm going to try a horseshoe zip, but uh, it's nice to be able to stuff everything in and be able to grab your sleeping bag. So I really like this for the sleeping bag and you can fit other gear in there too if you've got a lighter bag. So um, I'm going to talk more about bags uh, later, still learning a lot there. But so yeah, great sleeping bag compartment. As you work up the bag, you've got these two. This thing is not full, so it's going to look a little bit smaller. You've got these two pouches here. So right here, right here. These are going to be your front pockets. These are awesome for quick access. So quick access items are going to be for me, the spotter. If you have a small tripod, we could go in here great as well. Beanie, gloves, things like that, snacks, even like a jet boil. It all fits really easily in these front two pockets. So really like that. So you've got sleeping bag to these front pockets. It's just easy access for a top load of stuff pack. The, the lid itself is great. You've got large amounts of room here for water filtration, you know, easy access snacks, things like that. It's got zippers on both sides. It's also fully removable. So you've got this really solid lid here. Really like that. If you're really carrying a lot, you can put stuff between the lid and the top. Um, so just very feature rich. There's a lot going on here, a lot of straps, a lot of buckles, places to tie things down. So if, if you're looking for all of that, uh, this is a great pack to consider. Uh, again, keep in mind that weight that you're getting with it. So it does load from the top. So as you can see, you've got this big open space with this collar. So you can seriously load this thing up. It holds just a lot of gear. So that's why I like it if you're going longer or later season, you can carry insulation, you know, tons of gear in here. Uh, so that's great. Stuffing it in is nice for like, if you're going to do a sleeping bag or jackets and you don't have the, the, if you're not cinching it down with compression, it's really nice just to stuff things in there. Can be a pain to get out, but I feel like this bag is, you know, there's so many different pockets and ways to get in that it's, it's really not bad. This It's not just one big bag. There's actually a lot of pockets within it and you've got, you know, all of these different features. So I really like that about the Marshall, uh, the frame. So I had the guide light frame. So let's get this back on here. So the, the guide light frame was really good for me. So my pack was, I think around 60, I'm not sure we had five days of food, water, and, and I'm not 
super ultra light. I, I do like to carry a full size spotter, tripod, things like that. And it was also in the snow. So we had a lot of gear. It, I had no sore spots on my back, no, no places that were hurting more than the, more than others. So I just really love the way it carried. Uh, the, the mystery ranch frame is just amazing. The, uh, the way that, you know, mystery ranch really uh, prides themselves is they're not trying to be the lightest bag on the market. It's load carriage. And if you're looking for something that's going to feel good all day, especially if you're ever loading up an elk, you can hunt, you can find good, good prices on these. And I think that it's a great option if, if load carriage is important to you. So the frame here, this is the MT frame, but it's going to be similar. So the MT has a five section hip belt. It's got uh, spots here to see where you're at on your torso adjustment. The, in, the, in, the guide light did not have that, but there's a lot of similarities, but you can just see the cushion. I mean, it's just crazy what they do to these belts for your shoulders. So it's just a really solid frame. It comes off the bag easier. I know with the MT, they made it a lot quicker to access the load shelf. So about sizing, Mystery Ranch, it, I would say maybe it sags a little bit. So I, I'm a 34 waist and I got a medium. That's for 31 to 36 and the torso 15 to 20. So my torso I think was like 19, but I found the medium was perfect. I didn't want it too low. My brother had a large and he's, I think, 34, 35 waist. But it was sagging for him and uh, it just didn't adjust quite like we had wanted for him. So I think he's going to go to a medium also. So the, the sizing, once you get it on with a lot of weight, you really don't need like a huge pack. It's, it's amazing how you can cinch it all down. I've got tons of room with the medium belt. And so I like a medium for, for what I'm doing. But measure your torso, measure your waist. And that's how you get the sizing. They make it real easy on how to do that. And uh, so, yeah, I really like that they have so much adjustability. The torso, the, the hip belts, they just fit very, very well. Uh, so, so this is about the Marshall. So, again, this is for somebody who wants a large pack. They want lots of pockets on the outside. And they want something that will just carry comfortably and really just as a, a, you know, a big pack. That's going to give them as much space as they need. Um, I'm going to put the actual cubics below. I think it's over 6,000, so it's, it's pretty large. Um, if you wanted to really stretch it, you can load between the bag and the load shelf, like a dry bag. You can get this thing well over 8,000. So it'll do as, whatever you need it to do. Um, to me, so those are the pros. Is it's, it's large. It's very durable. Good materials. Lots of good pockets, especially if you're trying to get quick access. Um, the, the downsides are going to be uh, the overall weight for that. I think that's kind of the main one. Also, if you're trying to day hunt with it, it is a little bit large and bulky. If you take all your gear to camp and then hike around, but it is a little bit large. So it's not like a true day pack. Uh, but yeah, and then at the end of the day, Mystery Ranch, what they're known for, load carriage. So if that's that's important to you, then it's, it's worth looking at a lot of good options out there. I haven't tried all the packs. This is just one that I, I liked. I carry full size spotter in the front. It just worked well for me last year. So yeah, the, uh, the, the mystery ranch packs are interesting. You can basically from a saw 45 to the Marshall, they all fit on the same frame. So another thing to look at is if you like the guide light MT frame or the guide light, looking at what bag you might want to pair that with. So you could get a 45, saw 45 and then buy the Marshall bag. I think they sell that. I know they sell the bear tooth. Um, I don't think they sell the saw tooth bag, but basically you could buy the Marshall with the frame and then you could buy a really, you know, like a used Metcalf bag. Um, so you could, you could do that. If you like the horseshoe zip, you could buy the bear tooth, look for a saw tooth. They, they, there are some used out there. So a lot of flexibility if you want to get, if you like the frame, which that's important, making sure it fits you. So get a frame that fits and then you can kind of have a couple bag options if you'd like and not always have to carry the big Marshall. So, but it'll do everything you need it to. A lot of other good bag options with Mystery Ranch. 
a lot of other good brands out there. So I'm not saying that this is the one you have to get. Just kind of talk, just wanting to talk through what the Marshall is. If, if somebody likes, likes the Marshall, maybe they're curious about Mystery Ranch in general. Here's kind of some of the pros and cons, maybe who it's for, and uh, just a little bit about that bag. So I hope that helps, and uh, thanks so much for watching.